So you have a business degree and you have read tons of business books. Therefore, you already know enough about business that you don't have to learn anymore. In this video, you'll discover why it's always better to be an eager learner. Sometimes I get this, not only from my mentees but from some members of other Facebook groups as well. But mami negosyo, I'm a business graduate. Is there still more that I need to know? And my answer, yes, we all do. I remember Myra. Myra is a business graduate who works for a private company. She's young and she's eager to apply what she learned in college to start a business. And so she approached me asking, Mami N, what's a good business to start? And I asked her what she had in mind. You know, Mami N, I want to sell my own liquid detergent, she answered. And then she paused. Well, actually, I wanted to start my own line of beauty products, but that requires more time and capital. Okay, but why would you want to sell liquid laundry detergent when there are already many brands in the market? I asked. Then Myra went on to explain. She said, You see, Mommy N, I figured many mothers will want to buy my product because it removes dirt easily. And this helps save time and money for mothers who are always busy and looking for ways to cut costs. That's good thinking, I said. Do you believe that this is the best business for you? And she was shocked. She said, What do you mean, Mommy N? Well, Sometimes, I said, we think what's popular or trending is the best business for us to start. And sometimes, just because people we know are in business, we think we're also cut out to become business owners. And Myra got confused. He said, but Mami Negosyo, I have a business degree and it's my goal to have my own business. Well, yes, that's true. But it's also true that having a business degree isn't a requirement to start a business. But many people think that it is. It's actually about the mindset. Just because we're degree holders, it does not mean we already know everything. You see, this wrong belief can sabotage our chances of building a successful business. I know many successful entrepreneurs who aren't graduates of business course. Now, let me share this with you. Do you know Injap Sia? Well, he's the former owner of the successful food chain Mang Inasal. And he's not even a business course graduate. In fact, he took up architecture in college. Did you know that? Now, he dropped out from college to become an entrepreneur, and the rest is history. What made him successful? Well, successful people invest daily in their learning, time, and money. Yes, time and money. I also know a licensed accountant, but she struggles in her business. She thought she already knew everything. See? That's where the problem lies. When we believe that we already have the knowledge and we're familiar with what we do, we become complacent. Complacency becomes a barrier to our growth. So, let's go back to Myra's story. As Myra and I continued our conversation, it seemed that she only wanted affirmation. But there's a hint in her voice that she had something else in her mind. Her facial expression told me that she's at a loss, but she tried not to show it. So, was she embarrassed to ask more? I really don't know. My only worry was that she might start a business that's not in sync with her business calling. That business might head for disaster because she thinks that knowing how to start one is enough. So, here's my business tip for you today. Be teachable. A teachable person is humble enough to admit that they still have a lot to learn. Everyone, even the lowliest person we meet, brings us lessons. And we can learn from anybody, regardless of that person's background and status in life. No matter how much we know, there's always someone else who knows something more than we do. In some other field that we're not good at. As for me, I won't stop learning. Because there is always something that I can learn every day. I never get tired of learning something new because it gives a deep sense of satisfaction to be able to share them with you. In fact, I enroll from one online course to another. The more I learn, the more business ideas I have, and the more I'm able to teach my mentees. And believe it or not, at my age, I still have mentors. And most of them now are younger than I am, and I'm not ashamed of learning from them. In fact, it makes me feel young. So remember, we don't only learn new things inside the classroom. We can continue to learn from the conversations we have with other people. Exchanging ideas and insights actually widens our perspective. The knowledge you gain might just be what you need to help you grow in the moment. 
So treat them as giants who have grown from the life lessons that they have learned. And see yourself as standing on their shoulders. You become taller than the giant when you learn in such a short time what took them decades to learn. And take it from Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. So let me quote him. He said, you have to learn, learn, learn enough so that you become a domain expert. But the danger is once you become a domain expert, you can be trapped by that nudge. Look at it freshly, even though you know so much about the domain. Yes, I'm gonna be an expert and I'm gonna keep my beginner's mind. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. <music>